So this video is about circuit rules and you need to be able to identify a series and a parallel circuit just from looking at a diagram. And you also need to be able to explain what happens to the current, the potential difference and the resistance in each circuit. So when we're talking about current, we need to think about the flow of the charges around the circuit. And in a series circuit, we've got just one pathway that those charges are going to take. So therefore, in a series circuit, uh, the current is going to be the same everywhere. So the current at I1 will equal the current at I2, which will equal the current at I3. So in a parallel circuit, the current is going to follow a different rule to that of the series circuit. There's one pathway which then splits at a junction into two branches and rejoins later on. So therefore, the charges are also going to go down one of two pathways. So the current is going to be split between the branches. So the current at I1 will equal the current at I2 plus I3, which will also equal the current at I4. So with potential difference, we once again need to consider the path of the charges as they go around the circuit. And in a series circuit, each charge is going to pass through all the components. So therefore, the potential difference is shared between the components. And if we add up the potential difference across each component, it will equal the battery voltage. So in a parallel circuit, remember there are multiple paths that the charges could take after the junction. So therefore, uh, each component is going to get the charge's full amount of potential difference. So the potential difference will be the same everywhere and it will be the same as the battery voltage. So on to resistance. In a series circuit, uh, each charge again is going to have to pass through each component. So we need to think about the fact that the total resistance is going to be bigger than the individual resistances of the components. And they're actually going to add together to give us the total resistance of the circuit. So resistance in parallel is actually a little bit more tricky. Um, if you think again about the pathways that the charges will take, they've got two different pathways to go down. Um, and so therefore, the total resistance is actually going to be less than the resistance in either of the individual branches. If you think about this being like when you're queuing in a supermarket, if they open up another till, each person's going to get through uh, quicker than before because there's more than one pathway to go down. So as we add more components in, in parallel, the total resistance of the circuit is going to decrease. So in terms of actually remembering this, as long as you can remember that current is the same everywhere for a series circuit, you should be able to work out the rest. Because in a parallel circuit for current, it's the opposite for what it was in a series circuit. For potential difference in a series circuit, it's the opposite of what current was in a series circuit and potential difference in a parallel circuit is the opposite of uh, the potential difference in a series.